Hey guys, it's Andy. I appreciate you watching my channel. This is a meeting that you're about to watch. This footage that's about to come is a meeting that I'm having with my team. Everybody always asks, I said, Andy, how did you build the best team on planet Earth? Well, I'm about to let you on the inside of a meeting. Check it out. Today's about resetting your fucking life. I've been reading a lot of leadership books lately because I feel like that's my next level in my life is to lead myself to the next level in my life. Not to learn something to teach, not to go into some seminar so people can think I'm the new cool fucking guy so everybody can tell me how good I am. I can flatter myself and stay the exact fucking same. I want results. When I don't get results in my life, I get fucking pissed off. You know how you change? Simple. You look at yourself, you self-access. Like, what is fucking going wrong? Like, assess myself, like, what? what is wrong? Okay, well, number one, how many of you guys right now, when your social media dings, pings, chimes, and everything, do you guys look at it? Let me ask you a question, is that real or fake? It's fake. Yeah. Number one, I always wanted to stand out. My whole life, I wanted to stand out. I wanted to be the, the fucking badass. But you know what I learned? People that stand out that aren't a part of a herd, aren't a part of anything, and they never become anything great. I have given every single one of you guys a herd to be a part of. And every single one of you in here can stand out and be great in that herd, but you'll always find your power in the fucking herd, in the team. That's the way it works. Yeah. And most of you guys don't understand that. And so today, I'm gonna read some stuff to you and I wanna explain how I train myself, how I teach my brain, and how I'm telling you the reason why most of you, why you're getting beat, is because you don't understand even what you're doing, why you're doing it, and what you're even after. And so why do you go to the gym? No, you go to the gym because every one of you in here have pain in your life, every single one of you. And when you go to the gym, you work out hard, and that endorphin that you feel, that oxytocin that gets released when you work out fucking hard, masks that pain, and you feel a release, and you feel good. And that's why if you go to the gym and you don't work out hard, you're fucking aggravated, you're pissed off. You give no effort, you get no oxytocin, you get no reward, you get no dopamine, you get nothing. You're not even giving yourself a shot to make it because your body produces these chemicals, right? And as I started like listening to Simon Sinek and he's so fucking geeked out, but he's also one of the smartest geeks on planet earth, he talked about how people in the old days used to hunt. And these people would literally have a village and the kids would die, so we got kids, and we got wives that would die and they would go travel for 40 miles to go hunt a fucking animal. Now, does any of you have to hunt for food right now? Okay, so how did they get dopamine back then? Yeah, no, they fucking were after something. They wanted it. You think you hunt, you think you grind, you don't. And thank God you didn't have to hunt for food. You fucking died back then. And I'm telling you, I think about this hunt and this thing. These people, they wanted to get out and prove to their families that they could go catch. They wanted to prove their family that they could gather. They wanted to prove to their families that they could take care of them. So they traveled out 40 miles. And guess what? Do you think that they killed it and then that's when they got their first hit? Or do you think they saw something in the distance and they're like, oh, f we're going to move in on this thing. So they got a hit. 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 And they got these little hits as they got a little bit closer to that animal they were going to kill. And then guess what happened? When they fucking killed it, bam! They felt amazing. Yeah, it's called oxytocin. Some of you guys have never had a fucking success orgasm. I get them every fucking day. And I'm being dead honest. I'm not even fucking around with you guys. You have no idea how good it feels to hit fucking big goals and do fucking hard shit and do it day in and day out and every fucking month. Your body produces these chemicals. I don't know why, and I'm gonna go through them, but these chemicals, I can totally understand it now. I get now why I do what I do. I totally understand it. But then, after traveling for 40 miles and they kill it, then they're like, I wanna go back 40 miles and I wanna give it back to the tribe. Like, I can't, I can't imagine the way that they're gonna feel when they see us coming over the fucking, the hill with the kill. Can you imagine that? Like, we got what we got now, and now I get to give it to them. And then now you get to see them all have a good time, eat their food, because you went and killed it. Look at all the chemicals that were released on this deal. Problem is that, that, that that's, not, that's not our life anymore. Warriors, when we had to go to war, we had to fight in battles, men went out and fought for their families and fucking died on the battlefield every fucking day. That's why I'm telling you, you have to understand your body was made fucking 10,000 years ago the same as it is today. How did we survive? How did saber tooth tigers die and how did we survive? Tribes, an alligator, right? There's a, a corpse or there's fucking something, a dead bird in the water and two alligators see it. And they both go through it. One fucking grabs it, doesn't even think about the other one, fuck you. The other one doesn't even care that the other one said fuck you. They don't care. 
they're figuring out how to get fed. Human beings don't operate that way. So I'm all about like, how do we have the best life ever? How do we? Well, number one, you need to understand how you guys get these chemicals. Do you know how to make yourself happy? You say you do, but if you did, you'd be happy all the fucking time because you would run the play that you knew how to make yourself happy. Do you know how to make clients happy? Do you know how to make your family happy? Do you know how to win? Do you understand your body? Do you understand your life? Do you understand like, dude, if you figure out what I'm about to tell you, if you guys really consciously listen to me, and you fucking really, notice I said consciously. Selena sent me a, vi a video yesterday, and it was Ed Milet's video, and it said what? Why are you so casual? Right? Yeah. Good. Why are some of you so fucking casual? Know what that means? No, that means that you're not where you want to be, but it sure don't look like it fucking bothers you. I'm not asking you to beat yourself to the ground. I'm asking you, does it bother you when you go hunt for two weeks and you come home without any food? Does it fucking bother you? Should you be able to come home with food? Why aren't you? Because you don't know the pathway to success. You don't know yourself. And I'm gonna tell every single one of you, you better listen to what I'm gonna say today, and if it flies over your head, I feel bad for you. Let me explain how this works. So this herd, if, uh, if there was a, a bull, if there were four bulls, let's say there were a bunch of fucking lions out here. If they put their horns out and they all backed in, could the lions come in and get them? No, because they would have horns out. If there was four of us and the world's full of lions and they're all coming in at us, Nobody could fucking beat us. We would fucking horn everything that came towards us. We'd be so aware. But what happens when one bull says, oh, I'm going to go over here, and he gets fucking stray? Well, he's gone. That's why some of you in here are getting beat because you're out here. You've left the herd, and that is a problem. You stray out, you get picked off. You stay in, you stay powerful. Okay, so I'm gonna read some stuff to you guys, but I will tell you guys, there's a book, and I was sharing some pieces with you, and it was called Leaders Eat Last. And I would say, who in here has read it? Okay, cool, we got, we got five people in here. I would tell you, if you read it, and it's been over a year, I would tell you to read it again, because that's how life works. I ask people, uh, have you read the book Relentless? Everybody's like, yeah. And I say, okay, cool, what was, what was th chapter 13? Oh, I don't know. Sounds like you need to read it again. You don't read something to make you feel good. You read something to understand how to operate that way. Okay? So this book, I believe it's chapter six, okay? And it's called E-D-S-O. And it talks about the four chemicals. I would recommend you guys all download it on Audible. And then that way when we're done, you guys can listen to chapter six. I'd recommend listening to the whole book. I've only listened to chapter six about 19 times. Mm so I can understand what the f chapter six is trying to tell me. But about the 19th time I rewrote for the 19th set of notes, what I believe that it means to me. Now, every one of you in here, when you read the Bible, there's three things that you should be thinking. What did it mean back then when it was wrote? What does it mean today? And then what does it mean to me? Because all of you are in a different place. Every one of you. What does it mean to you when I say this, okay? What does this mean when he wrote it? And then what does this mean today? You guys know how you get your endorphins rushed, right? Do you guys know what's bad for you? Yes or no? Yes. Okay, is alcohol bad? Yes. Okay, is, uh, is, is doing drugs bad? Yes. Is hanging out with toxic people bad? Yes. You guys all know this. See, I don't have to, these, these things you guys are very aware of. You know what takes you out? You know what's taking every one of you out in this room? Social media. I'm gonna read all these notes. I'm gonna go through all these things. And I'm gonna tell you, instead of you hunting and killing, you are literally waiting for the endorphin to chime, ping, ding, or hit. Okay? I'm fucking serious about my life. You know what that means? I don't give a fuck who says that I'm fucking great. I know I have more, so I don't wanna hear nothing. I don't give a fuck what anyone says. I care about what I think. And these chemicals, 
These things are gonna help me get there and I'm gonna learn how to create them at a very high level and I'm gonna change more people's lives, I'm gonna change my family's lives, I'm gonna change your life and I'm gonna change my life because I'm gonna understand them. When I realized these little fucking subtle, they're, 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 they're very small, you, you don't even understand what's taking you out. You're thinking about like, I don't do drugs, I work out every day, I don't do alcohol, right? Bro, you're getting fucking smoked on social media. If you wake up in the morning and before you exercise, before you work out, before you drink a glass of water, before you cold plunge, you get on your phone, before you get out of bed, if you reach over to grab your phone, you're a fucking addict. Say, oh yeah, but that's the generation. Really? Okay. Play that game. And if you guys trust in me and you believe in me, I'd recommend every one of you deleting your social media accounts and pay someone to either help you and get the fuck off them. It's time for us to get fucking paid for our efforts. Yes, it's time for us to work 10 times fucking harder. I'm not even joking. And I, by the way, I'm gonna read how I listen to it. Is that cool? Yeah. Okay. I want you to just listen to me. And then we'll talk about it at the end. Two chemicals needed to make you successful. Endorphins and dopamine. This is what makes us driven to hunt and achieve. This is where you decide to kill social media and you get ready to really hunt in life and you create a real life. See, there's a fake life. See, if social media went out today, guess what? A lot of people would be fucked. They literally have no life. They have no, they have no real bank account. They have no assets. They have no real income. They have no real friends. They have no real anything. They, they're living a fucked up fake life. Guys, if you've watched this video and there's a tactic, a, a trick, something that I taught you that has helped you become better during this video, what that means is that you're a student of selling, you're a student of the game of self-development. Self-development, I built a $160 million business last year. It's gonna be a $250 million business this year. I have 100 people on my sales team. I've built a culture that's unreal. I've learned the art of sales. I am one of the best in the world at the art of sales. I don't care what industry you're in. I train all industries. I love people. I'm fascinated with building underdogs to be the best in the world. I'm fascinated with giving people an edge on how to be the best. If you feel like some of the things that I've said during this video, you're like, man, I can relate with that. You know, that's, that's, that's what I like, that's what I love. This is point zero 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 one percent of what I have to bring to the table. I give this away for free so it can make you a better person. I have a very high level coaching program for business owners and for salespeople. Down below in the description boxes in, the, in this YouTube video, you're gonna see there's this little um, link. You can click on it and it says, see if you qualify for Andy's coachings here. You're gonna ask, there's, or there's eight questions that I kind of ask you to see and feel where you are as a person. And if you answer these eight questions and I feel like that you align with kind of my core values and beliefs, which are the same as yours, I would, uh, I would love to get on a call with you after 24 hours and develop a plan. Okay, I know this, there's a play that you can run that literally will save you 10 years in your life and all the money you ever wanted to make and the empire you want to build and all these things can all happen. It can happen super fast because it's happened in my life. Hard work, efforts, stay in the herd, learn your fucking craft, learn yourself, learn how you operate. So then you can finally start educating other people how people operate because you've mastered yourself. I put it makes us feel good when we find something that we're looking for. That's endorphins, like it makes us feel good when we find something we're looking for, right? It says, these are the chemicals of progress. See, I want these chemicals that I talk about only to come from progress, not to come from fake shit anymore. Progress needs to be where we fuel everything in our life from this point forward. Okay, endorphins, the runner's high. Endorphins serve as one purpose and one purpose only, to mask physical pain. That is it. They mask physical pain with pleasure which is why it feels so good to push your body harder and harder. The harder you push yourself, the more dopamine you're gonna get, the more oxytocin you're gonna get, the more that you're gonna feel these chemicals. The harder things you, that's why when you don't do things that are hard, you fucking hate yourself. Because these chemicals that you know that you have felt at some point, the orgasm, you're not getting them anymore. You're not feeling it. And that's when people start walking around dead and angry and depressed and upset because they're not doing the fucking work. So their body's not giving them the reward, the biological reward, which is the chemical. You guys, you know what's better than money? These chemicals. Mm. You want to get rich? Whoever can create the most of these chemicals wins. It's a superpower. You want to fucking annihilate the entire world and take over? 
If we have more of these chemicals than any other company, we win. That's it. And so in order to protect these chemicals, you have to get away anything and everything that's harmful to these chemicals. So I said people and love, people love and crave these feelings. All right, so dopamine is highly addictive. With each sign of progress in your life, you get a hit. As we get closer to our goals, the metrics tell us that we're making progress and we get another hit of dopamine. Then finally, when we reach our goal, that intense feeling we get is a biological reward which I call the fucking orgasm because that is literally what all these chemicals create. It's something that feels so amazing, which is literally something that I would recommend that all of you strive to live while you're still healthy and alive. Bodies reward us with dopamine so we will keep going. Do you guys get that? Why, when you get a hit, do you wanna stop or keep going? Dude, you guys become fucking addicts for the good dopamine for helping people, for changing lives, for changing your life, for keeping your promise to your family, for keeping your promise to me, for keeping your, listen, if anybody's got kids here, you wanna fucking show, don't you wanna see your kids with all the sacrifice that you've put in, that they're fucking actually like doing something with all the sacrifice you made? If you have kids, if, if you've ever, or your girlfriend or your wife or your husband or your boyfriend, you wanna show like, that's like where this dopamine comes. Prove them right that they made the best bet with you. Prove them right. It starts with you and then this moves on to other people. And I'm gonna give you guys full circle when this is done, how this operates. So bodies re uh, reward us with dopamine so that we'll keep going. Obviously, the bigger the goal, the more effort it requires and the more dopamine you'll get. Oh, imagine that. Listen to this. Obviously, the bigger the goal, the more effort it requires. Oh, I can't just can show up and I don't get the magical fucking bonus? No, you will fucking give everything you got and 10 times more. And you're gonna feel amazing because the chemicals that you're gonna get in your body, which is why you need to understand when you're working hard and you're getting fucking irritated, it's because the devil is trying to fucking destroy you because he knows you're on the fucking path to actually do something. But instead of listening to what fucking God wants, what I'm telling you, you listen to him and you fucking restart. I see a lot of you, every morning you start out with the same, oh, I'm gonna go run this marathon. And then you fucking turn around and go back to the finish line every fucking day. When it's hard, guess what you know? I'm about to get a hit. Push until you get the hit and that's what keeps you going. This is the secret to your life. See, now you can start to understand you. Not understand what the team thinks about you. Not understand what the, fucking, the company thinks about you or, or I think about you or your wife. Do you know how you work? Do you know that when things are getting hard, you're like, oh, if I can just push through a little bit harder, I'm gonna get hit. Yeah, 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 and I'm getting anxiety because I haven't been on social media. I wonder what they're saying. What are you becoming? What are you becoming? Are you really not aware? Become, that's the key. This is for us to become who we need to become. Obviously the bigger goal, the more effort it requires, the more dopamine you'll get. So you want a bigger hit? Guess what? More effort. This is why it feels really good to accomplish something difficult. You want the Rolex? It's gonna be difficult as fuck. That's why I put it out there because I want anyone and everyone, and that's why I'm giving you this little idea to think about this month. Can you pull this off? Yes, how hard will it be? The hardest thing you've ever done. How difficult will it be? The most difficult thing you've ever done. But you can do it, and you will get the most amazing life ever. This is why it feels so good to accomplish something really difficult. Doing something quick and easy gives no dopamine at all, which is how people get depressed. In other words, it feels good to put in a lot of effort. There is no biological reward in doing nothing and not pushing for things that are hard. Now, I wrote this little thing at the top. I, I said, those who work harder to help others succeed will be seen by the group as the leader or the alpha. Being the alpha, the strong supportive one of the group is the one that changes the company the most and changes the world the most. We are visual animals. We seem to trust our eyes more than any of our other senses. Am I right? Think about this. When there's a noise at night and you hear something, what do you do? You get up and go check it. Why? Because you need to see. 
you, you, you're like, well, yeah, I mean, my whole, my alarm's on, right? But why do you still get the fuck up? You get up because you want to fucking see. I heard it on that side of the house, so you go over there. Am I right? Someone made a promise or claims that they have accomplished something. We want to see it to believe it. You better fucking believe it. You want to come to my house? I'll show you the checks. Matter of fact, I'll let you ride to the people uh, that are going to the banks to deposit them. See it. All this is happening, lifetime, real time in this company. You know what I'll tell you? This world's falling apart. But I'm not falling apart. That's why we're going to fucking show up and change a lot of people's lives. That's why when we die, the day that we become unhealthy, we're not going to ask for our health back. We're going to say, I'm ready to go. I'm good. I gave it all I fucking have. I'm, I'm good. See, I don't, listen, discipline's easy. Regret's hard. You're going to regret not paying attention. You're going to regret your fucking ego. Okay, you're going to regret your arrogance. You got one life. It's going to go by really quick. We want to see it to believe it. All right, serotonin. This is the leadership chemo uh, chemical. It controls your mood. Oh, man. You guys want to be in a good mood all day? It raises your status. Who in here doesn't want to have a good fucking status? Because I know how I roll. And I'm thinking, why do I always got so much energy? Why am I always doing this? And I'm like, fuck, man. I'm doing all these fucking hard things all the fucking time. And I understand what I'm doing. I'm chasing, like, I don't get to hunt, but I feel like I'm letting Jackie down. I'm letting my team down. I'm letting me down. I'm letting God down. All right, I put serotonin kills depression. This is big. If you never, ever want to be in a bad mood again, if you never, ever want to fucking be depressed, if you never want to be sad, if you never want to question your existence again, eat, sleep, and breathe the addictive serotonin. How do you get it? I'm going to tell you. Number one, serotonin is a feeling of pride. You're proud of yourself. If you work your ass off today, we'd be proud of yourself. Yeah. That's called serotonin. Now you're fucking understanding that the standards, the standards were all to create these chemicals so we could create this life. The standards were doing the right thing so we'd be proud of ourselves so we could create more serotonin. Feeling of pride. It's a feeling we get when we feel that others like us or respect us. You want other people to like you? I do. I'm going to be honest. You want other people to respect you? I do. You got to give all you got. I, look, if somebody doesn't like you and you give all you got, it doesn't even bother you. But when you don't give all you got and someone says some shit about you, it fucking bothers you. You know why? Because it's the truth. And you hate them, really you hate you. It makes us feel strong and confident, okay? It makes us feel like we can take on anything. <laughs> anything, anything at all. I don't care how hard it is. When you have serotonin running through your veins, you're unfucking stoppable. How do you get these magical chemicals? I just told you. This should be eat, sleeping, and breathing these things to make your body get these chemicals so your life can get these results and so the people that are around you can see what the fuck you're made of, including yourself. So it raises your status. Now I put this, I, I, I did, I, I put three stick figures. One, two, three. And I want to tell you why this is so important. So it's like, one, I put, we feel it. Like, like I'm doing all this for me. I'm going to be honest, because I want to, I need to be, can you, remember, I take care of me for you, right? It's not like, well, I can't believe you said he's doing it all for him. No, if I don't take care of me, I can't take care of anyone else. So number one, I feel it. That's the first stick figure. Number two, others see it in us. And they believe and feel it too. When Ali operates this way, then his wife gets to feel it. His kids get to feel it. His team gets to feel it. His customers get to feel it. Every, he gets to feel it, but then everyone else gets to feel it, which is very important to him. Because if, see, this is why this is such a beautiful fucking drug. Because you get to feel it, and then everyone else, Danny, that you care about, they get to feel it fucking too. And then the third thing, those people give it to other people, which is fucking priceless. Think about this. I get it. How selfishly cool is that if I can understand how I operate? Number two, my family, my fucking biggest responsibility in this world, they get to feel it. And you guys, and by the way, when I say family, I mean you guys. I, I was sitting in Mexico and I go, I can't believe I got this great family. I'm sitting here with you guys. Don't, if you ever think this is a job, you clearly have missed every, everything in your life. You've missed the mark of the Elliott Group, what we are. This is your family. 
We've handpicked this family. Yeah, all of us here are pretty fucked up. All of us here together, fucked up people who can unfuck themselves are the most dangerous people on planet Earth. And if you can have a herd of fucked up people who have unfucked themselves, who can trust each other, who feel safe around each other, who understand how they operate, and they're truly not being a fraud. You know the biggest thing that scares me? It's not not making money. Everybody understand this. All of you hear me out. Let's play this road. You don't get the way that you feel in this company. You don't get this company. You get anything, but you get rich. Or the other way, you get a fucking great life. Your whole life counts. The whole life that you live is unfucking real, but you don't ever make any money. I would choose no money and choose this life. Yes, sir. I swear to God, I would go back to an apartment and I'd fucking ride a bike. And you know what's crazy? I'd probably be happier. I truly would be happier. Now, here's the double-edged sword. Why not get both? Why would we be limited when we're God's kids? Why wouldn't we say, well, why can't I get rich and get a rich life? Which is what I'm teaching. By the way, I learned this from someone else and I'm like, it makes sense now. It's not standards. It's these things give me these chemical feelings that make me do better. So I see now why I wanna do these, why I wanna have loyalty. Why well, I want to lead by example, because it makes me feel good. It makes my family feel good. And then other people that like my family that feel this, they get to also give it to other people. Oh man, now you're fucking building a legacy. And lastly, oxytocin. This one is fucking crazy. This is my favorite of all of them. You can look them all up. You can look at definitions on all of them. This is my favorite, right? And it, this is probably most people's favorite. It's, it's the love chemical. How do I close everybody? Can love them. You wanna have sex a lot? You can show the other person affection, attention, okay? Put your hand on them. Right, Raph? Don't be thinking about getting a <laughs> Right? <laughs> With a customer, listen, Selena comes into the office, customer shows up, she says, hey, how you doing? He's like, whoa, that was a hug. Oh, next person, boom, hug, wow, oxytocin. Oxytocin's coming through the company like no other. This is a superpower. Yes. All of them are important. Your dopamines, you decide. You get out of here and you get them from hunting or you get out of here and you get them from social media. You decide what's gonna feed your dopamine from now on because you're, you're gonna be addicted to something. I'd recommend every one of you guys literally delete your old life for 90 days and come on to this new life. I would rather become, in, instead of having people ask me, hey, what's going on with your social media account? Bitch, have you seen my bank account, motherfucker? Please. Please understand what's real and what's fake. You must understand. I only want you guys to live a real life. That's all I care about. Like, I'm not here to babysit everybody. It's, I, it, listen, I, I'm here to build a real business, a real life, a real, real people, real leaders. Not, I don't want people to come in here and they're like, oh, there's Andy Elliott. He's the fucking best. No, I want people to go in here and go, did you see the whole company? They're all like business owners inside of this fucking business. And they're all operating on their own. There's, there's no bosses. There's no managers. There's no GMs. There's no, there's no one in charge. Who's in charge? We all are. I, I don't understand. What's the pecking order? There's not one. What do you mean? And so like, if you guys ever wonder like why I run the way, it's not because I'm casual. It's because I understand in order to give somebody the opportunity to fucking grow, you can't cut their legs off every fucking day. You have to let them get beat. You have to let them get beat up. You have to watch them make mistakes, even if it hurts. I went out with Ian. We got these electric bikes, right? The first two weeks of riding one, he fucking wrecked it, tore all the skin off his body. I had to watch him fall off and tear all the skin off his body so he would understand what it feels like to tear all the skin off his body so he'll fucking respect. And now this next bike that goes faster, he respects it more. But these things you need, and they are real. I didn't make them up. These aren't Andy-isms. These are real things. And if you really want to understand how to take your family to the next level, your life to the next level, close everyone you fucking talk to. This is what you must become, okay? Become it, Be, live it, eat it, sleep it, breathe it, become it. Listen, I wanna know, are we really becoming 
who we tell the world we are. We're unbeatable if we can really become this. Oxytocin, this is the last one. This is the most, this is most people's favorite chemical. It is the feeling of friendship, love, or deep trust. Friendship, love, deep trust. When you guys are closing somebody, should they feel friendship, love, and deep trust? How can you give it to someone if you don't have it? It's the feeling we get when we are with people that we love the most and trust the most. See, when I'm closing someone, I make them feel like they can trust me because they can. I make them feel like I love them more than anyone's ever loved them before, even if it's the first conversation. This is how we must be as a herd so that we can give it to everybody else. It's the feeling we get when we do something nice for someone or someone does something nice for us. Has anyone ever bought you a coffee? And you're like, no, 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 you can't get me a coffee. That's oxytocin. What does it make you want to do? Go do something really fucking nice for someone right away. So what is the greatest thing that we could all do? All become this for each other. Guys, all we have to do is get rid of all the unhealthy things in our life and then just take on all the healthy things. It's your life. It's yours. Like you own it. I don't own it and I can't make you change. I'm changing. I'm telling you who I am right now, one to 10, I'm a one. And I learned when I figure out how to get myself moving quicker, faster, more loving, when I figure out how to transfer this thing that I can build and create, it's like making human energy. It's like, it's like making electricity in a human being. If I can make this in me, I can make this in anyone else. And this is my number one goal is to make this. God made people to be social animals and I will be the most social of them all. When you talk to someone, they've already spoke to millions of other human beings at some point in their life. I want when they speak to you to say, God, all right, all right, I'm in, I'll do it. This is how, if this can make you feel good, if you can figure out how to do this in yourself, then you can give this to other people. The greatest clothes of all will be unseen. The greatest clothes of all will be invisible. It'll be chemicals. And those that can transfer the chemicals are more powerful than words. And lastly, I put, it is responsible for all the warm and fuzzies. When you're like, God, man, I got butterflies in my stomach doing this thing, I'm so excited. That, that's what you should feel every day and that's what you should make other feels. Now, I put at the end, what kills serotonin? What kills oxytocin? What kills these things? Nutrition deficiencies, eat like shit. Because I started Googling it and I was like, what, what makes this stuff like not be good? So if anybody in here doesn't wanna eat good food, say goodbye to all these chemicals that are good for you. This is fucking illegal. If somebody could bottle this, they could sell it for trillions. You guys are all smart enough in here to have lived 28 years like Ryan and know this is who I don't want to be. This is who I want to be. This is how I want to operate. And if, if you have an ego that's like, well, I don't need to do this or this isn't for me. Motherfucker, this is for every single one of you no matter what position you play. I don't give a fuck what you do. Whether you post social media on content, whether you're on the admin side or whether you sell, everyone in this company must become this. This is who we are as a whole. Okay, and I put nutrition deficiencies, things that kill serotonin and oxytocin. Stress, stress kills this. You stress out, look dude, work hard. What do you do when you put in a lot of effort? You get dopamine, you get oxytocin. You get all this shit. You get serotonin, put in more effort. When you're starting to get stressed, what do you do? Overthink it or work harder? Work harder. Work harder. I ain't been working. I actually stopped working. And by the way, the word confront the work and do the work is more powerful now than ever because now you understand what's actually happening inside your body when you're doing it. It's a locomotive train. If you guys can start from this second when we end this training and you guys start putting coal, you can work in your ass off and having a good attitude, eating the right food, working out like a motherfucker, doing what you say you're gonna do and give 20 times more and do difficult shit every day and show people love and show yourself love. Listen, internally, how are you talking to yourself? Internally, the way that you talk to yourself, does that increase your, your serotonin levels, oxytocin levels? Yeah. Well, it can or it can't. It's not just what happens in the day, it's also how you talk to yourself about what's happening in the day. I will tell every single one of you, you are all gonna have bad days. 
you can still do these things on bad days. I put nutrition deficiencies, stress, and then I put not exercising. For those of you that like skip exercises, like understand that right there is gonna kill all of these chemicals. So now when you work out, you'll work out 20 times harder. Now when you work, you'll work 20 times harder. Now when you're on a call, you'll show 20 times more love. That's it. And then lastly, I put negative thinking, which, which ultimately kills everything in sales and in life.